The famous Albert Einstein's word puzzle or the fish puzzle gives you 15 lines that you're going to use to find the missing uh, information of who keeps the fish. So basically these 15 lines give you five parameters or five variables in which there's a house color, the nationality, the drink, the cigarette and the pet. So the house color is going to be unique. There will be a unique person living whose nationality will match a certain house color. And then there will be a drink associated with the, with the person living in the house, the particular drink, particular cigarette that they smoke and the particular pet that they own. So for this reason, we have five columns. Each one will be given for a particular house or particular house owner. So how do we know that there are five columns? Well, we know that there are five houses, right? Five colors of the houses, right? There's a red house, there's a green house, there's a white house, there's a yellow house, and finally there is a blue house. Okay, so no more than five houses, no more than five colors. So let's start with the colors. There will be, there will be a few constraints. Basically, there will be information gathered from these 15 lines that can be placed only in one cell. And the remaining information can be manipulated combinatorially, right? We're going to use uh, combinations to find out, or permutations, whichever one you want to call it. We're going to use that to see where we can place the remaining guys. And we're going to use eliminations, okay, for the, for the remainder of the, of the information. So, let's start with the colors. So as I use each line, I'm going to cross it out because I will not need to use it again. Okay, so let's talk about the houses, the house colors. So the first one gives us the Englishman lives in the red house. We don't know where that is, right? Because we don't know where the red house is. These are not about the house colors. The green house is just to the left of the white one. Again, we don't know where the green is, let alone the white, right? The white is to the right of the green, but we don't know where the green is. The owner of the greenhouse drinks coffee. Again, we don't know. We, we don't know where the greenhouse is. Pall Mall smoker has nothing to do with the color. The owner of the yellow house smokes downhills. Again, we don't know where the yellow house is. The man in the center house drinks milk. Okay, that's going to be useful. So let's mark it. The center house is going to be the center column because there are two columns to the right and two columns to the left. Thus, this is the center house. Now, the drink associated with this house is going to be milk. So this is the milk, uh, this is the drink row. So let's put milk here because this is where the milk goes in the center house. Now notice milk can be only placed in this cell, no other cell but this cell. And this is a unique identifier, right? You can treat it as a constraint that will help us um, validate other information that we're going to use later. So. The next line says the Norwegian lives in the first house. Bingo. That's a constraint as well. The Norwegian lives in the first house. This is the first column corresponding to the first house. The nationality is here. So this is the cell for the Norwegian. Okay. Uh, we cannot use that. The man who smokes blue masters, we cannot use that. The man who keeps horses lives next to the downhill smoker. We can't use that. The Norwegian lives next to the blue house. Okay, that's a color constraint right there. Next to the blue house, this is the Norwegian's house. This is his column. The next house is this one. There is no other, there's no house to the left of the Norwegian because he takes the first house. So this has got to be the blue house, right? So we indicate this with blue. Okay, and let's mark that in where we already used that. Okay, now let's go back to the top and see if we can identify the other color uh, placements based on the fact that we found where the blue is. So the Englishman lives in the red house. We still don't know where that is. Uh, the green house is just to the left of the white one. Let's talk about that one. Let's talk about that one. The green house to the left of the white. So let's mark that. So the green house to the left of the white, which means if this is green, this cannot be green because this should be a white one. This cannot be green because it's already blue. If this is green, then this is white. So let's let's experiment and mark this as green. 
The next thing says the owner of the greenhouse drinks coffee. This is where we, we're wrong, right? Because this is not coffee. This is milk, right? So thus, this cannot be green. So that means this has got to be the only one possible for the green, right? And moreover, it said that the owner of the, uh, the, owner of the greenhouse drinks coffee. So let's mark that. So we can put coffee here for the greenhouse owner. And now this, this is the white one. And the first sentence says the Englishman lives in the red house. Now the red house, where is that going to be? This cannot be the Englishman's house because there's a Norwegian living in there. This is not red, this is not red, and this is white, right? So this has got to be the Englishman's house. So we can mark it with Englishman here. Okay, let's mark that information. Okay, uh, anything else? Uh, let's see. The owner of the... Okay, first of all, we have to mark the the last house which is yellow because there's no other place for the yellow but the Norwegian's house because this has got to be the white house to the right of the greenhouse according to what was said here so this is the yellow house and now speaking of the yellow house it says it says that the owner of the yellow house smokes dunhills bingo so that means the Norwegian is the guy who smokes dunhills okay so that's that now Something about the Dunhill smoker here. The man who keeps horses lives next to the Dunhill smoker. So the only neighbor that the Norwegian guy has is the blue house owner, which is the one that uh, holds, keeps horses, right? So we're going to mark horses here for his, uh, for his pet type. Okay. Mm. So now that, we, now that we have it, now that we have all... Uh, information needed. I believe these are the only constraints that we have. The rest will be manipulated using com uh, combinations. So let's talk about what we can fill in. Let's start with actually talking about the uh, cigarette types. So there are two sentences talking about the blend smoker. The blend smoker has a neighbor who keeps cats. Okay, so we can possibly put blend here. I'm going to put it on the side as a candidate. Keeps cats, meaning that um, the cats can go here. And also it says, uh, the blend smoker has a neighbor who keeps cats. He also has a neighbor who drinks water. So that means his neighbor, the same neighbor, can also have water, drink water, right? And also, we cannot put water here, but we can put cats here, right? That could be a neighbor that hold, uh, keeps cats. And the Norwegian can be the one that drinks water. Or it could be the Norwegian that drinks water and keeps cats, right? So there are two possibilities there for this blend. If the blue guy, if the blue owner of the house uh, smokes blend masters. So let's, uh, let's, mar let's mark this because we already used it. But we're not done yet, right? Because there are other places for the blend. We can also place the blend here, theoretically. Right? Even though we cannot put cats here because there are horses, we can put cats here. We cannot put water here because there, there's coffee, but we can put water here right? for the other owner if this is the blend smoker. Now, can we put the blend here? If we put the blend here, um, we, can put, we cannot put water here because of the milk, but we can put water here. And, we, uh, and there are already cats there, so we can put cats here as well, okay? Uh, there's nothing else that we could do. So we're done with the blend masters. Now let's talk about, now keep in mind that blend cannot go in the last uh, column because there's, a, there's only one uh, neighbor for this blend owner, if this were to be the blend owner, right? There's only one neighbor and he drinks coffee, right? There's no way he can drink water. So that's, you cannot, and you cannot put cats and no drink, right? That's impossible. You're, you're not allowed to do that. So blend cannot go there. So we're done with that. Now let's talk about the blue masters. Now this one is a little easier because the blue masters drinks beer, locks in two pieces of information, the blue masters and beer in one column. So the first column, will not work because this is a downhill smoker so the blue can 
possibly go here, the blue masters. And the beer goes on the top, right, in the same column. This cannot work because there's a milk there that will not allow the beer to be written, so we cannot write blue either. This coffee will not let us write beer, so we cannot write blue. But here we can write beer, and here we can write blue. Okay, so that's good. So uh, we already used that. So now let's use the, the other piece. It says uh, the German smokes prints. Now smokes prints means that we can put prints here. We can put German, uh, sorry, not, not the color. We can put a German on the top here. Okay, we can put prints here. We can put a German on the top. Now, we can put prints here, and we can put German on the top. Okay? The other two will not work because there's an Englishman and there's a Norwegian. All right, so we're done with that. The next one says the pole mole, the pole mole smoker keeps birds. So pole mole and birds go into the same column. Pole mole and birds. We cannot put uh, birds here because of the horses. We cannot put pole mole because of the dunhills. Okay, but we can put birds and pole mole in all these three, right? Because we don't know the nationality. So let's put birds, 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 and pole mole. So I'm just going to put pole, pole, pole. Okay, and the last two pieces we're going to need, the Dane drinks tea. Now this, this can be a Dane. And he can drink tea, so we're going to put tea. We cannot put a Dane for the Norwegian and Englishman because these are the nationalities that are not Danish. This can uh, this cannot work for the Dane because of the coffee constraint, right? We cannot put there. We cannot put tea there because coffee occupies the cell. We can put Dane here, and we can put coffee for. I'm sorry, not coffee. The tea. We can put tea for Dane as a candidate for this uh, cell. All right, and one final piece, the Swede keeps dogs, All right? This is not Swede, this is not dogs, this is not Swede, this can be a Swede, and dogs, let's write dogs, this can be a Swede, this can be dogs. So, now we have everything. Now, how are we going to eliminate? How do we start the process of elimination? Notice that in this cell, there's only water possible, so we're going to write water with full confidence. There's cats only here as well, right? So that means we can eliminate the water everywhere else. We can eliminate cats everywhere else in this row as well. So now look what happens. The birds is the only one that remains. We can safely put it down. That means we can eliminate the birds everywhere else. Okay. Now, it says that the blend smoker has a neighbor who keeps cats, right? We already know where the cats are, so this means that the blend must be this guy right here, right? Because he's the only neighbor. So that means we cross out the blue and prints. I'm sorry, we cross out the blend everywhere else. Now, this crossed out blend allows for the pole mole to be written with 100% confidence. That means everywhere else, pole mole will be crossed out, right? Cross out pole, cross out pole. That means the prince is only going to be in this cell and will be crossed out everywhere else. Crossed out, crossed out. And by the way, blue is crossed out from here as well, right? Because this is, this is the blend. So that means this guy is going to be blue, blue masters, right? So we already have everything here set up. So now let's let's validate this information. It says that the German smokes prints, right? So the prince is already here, so that means the Swede is out, and German is written here. Okay. Now what else do we know? So the German is here, so that means the German is not going to be here, and it's not going to be there. Since it's not going to be here, the Dane is the one that takes the spot with 100% confidence. That means the Dane is out from here, and that means that spot is occupied by the Swede. 
Now let's use the top information. The suite keeps dogs, right? The suite keeps dogs, so that means the dogs can be written with 100% confidence here. And it says that the, the Dane drinks tea, right? Since the Dane occupies this cell, the tea will be written with 100% confidence and the beer will be crossed out, which means the tea is crossed out here and beer can be written here with 100% confidence. Now everything is already filled out except this troublesome cell. And notice that when we filled out the dogs, we forgot to cross out the dogs from here. So that means the only place the fish can go is going to be here, right? Who keeps the fish? Take a look at the nationality. It is the German. So the answer to this problem is the German man is the guy who's keeping the fish in his house, in his greenhouse. So I hope this was a lot of fun. These problems are really um, inspirational when you try to understand them and when you try to solve them. And as you can see, this is just like a Sudoku puzzle, the mid-level Sudoku puzzle, where you have to use the process of elimination after you set up the constraints. Okay, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy all the rest of my videos. See you there.